Um, well, hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of H1Z1 Just Survive. Um, today I'm on here with Diz. Say hello, Diz. Hello, Diz. <laughs> Uh, yeah, woke up this morning, my mobile went off and let me know that I uh, had an email and basically just to tell me exactly what we thought was going to happen, I think maybe in my last video or the one before that, servers are going to come down on the 24th of October, so you've got two months to play it, uh, you can't buy it no longer on Steam, um, so there you go, uh, you know, what, what sort of like feelings we had in the last video I've come to light so there you go they opened up the crates um, sort of like free of charge uh, so yeah we we opened up those then they lowered the uh, the amount of servers and now this is happening so Diz and myself we're just gonna have a little bit of a rant about it today um, and this is going to be my very very last video in in regards to uh, just survive so there you go. So what's your feelings then, my good old friend is? I'm very annoyed by this. Uh -huh. This game had so much potential. They could have they could have done a number of things. They could have opened it up to the modding community. They could have you know, they could have uh, allowed us to make servers, you know, like to run our own servers and, and play yeah. the game that way. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean agree. Yeah, you know, it's it's so annoying that a game that had this much potential when it when it came out is just being discarded and and all the time that you and I and everybody else who's who's going to watch this has put into it is pretty much to nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Oh, is that you? Is it? There yep. he is. So I went and had a bit of a drive around. Uh, just to, hold on. Let me. Uh, uh, where are we? Oh, L lock. <laughs> I was just going back to the base anyway, just to uh, uh, we can stand around here. Because like I said, there's just no point in doing anything now, is there? You've got two months to do what? Just to wait for the servers to go down and and wreck everything that you have done. Well, what you should do is go over to Cranberry and have a look at that that minion thing. Oh yeah, and, uh, yeah, I've taken. Get that uh, on video. Yeah, yeah, it could do. Uh, how much fuel have I got left? Uh, I've, got I've got two left. I took the full, uh, the full ones out with me. So if there's any left, it's just going to be sort of like half tanks or something. Okay. Yeah, I did have a, a good old drive around the map. I did start recording a video, but I got interrupted. Uh, one of the kids came in and. Ah! <laughs> Lol. But yeah, I was uh, I was very pissed off myself, mate, because like I said, because uh, the game holds us a lot of hours. Uh, we've met a lot of decent uh, uh, decent people um, through you know through this game, if you like. Um, well, we met at this game. Yeah, yeah, and just to find that you know what we were talking about in maybe the last video has uh, has come to light. Oh shit! But it's like you know when we done that video on going out of the bounds, uh, you know, outside the uh, the other side of the map. That's when everything I started, I, I think, really started going wrong. Maybe just a little bit time before that, because animals weren't appearing, zombies weren't appearing. So we went into the other side of the map, and um, nothing had changed. That was on the Badwater Canyon map, by the way. Um, I mean, if we're going to be real about this, let's talk about how they 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 kept promising oh, after the second invitational we're going to do something and and for over a year almost a year and a half there was zero development on this game yeah and then they split the game in two and that was the death nail yeah 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 i agree with that All right, okay so i just had to concentrate going through that <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, splitting the game in two was, I, I think, a, a real, yeah, uh, yeah, big no-no. Uh, and I think a lot of people were in agreement, apart from the people that actually play on Battle Royale and shit like that. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, I think John Smedley, he should, you know, he's, you know, I know he had his problems and what have you, but, you know, I think if he'd have stayed in here, this game would have gone so much further so much fun. Oh, agreed. I mean, his vision of this game was what people wanted. Yeah. 
and, yeah. and the second that whole Lizard Squad thing happened and John Smedley was ousted, yeah, that was all gone. Yeah. Like they, this company has zero vision for this game. They don't want this game. Yeah. And by you know the letter that came out today, it's it's just reaffirms it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, let me just get down through here. There we go. Um, I was going to say because uh, you know it's like you know silly little things like lo lo lowering the uh, the amount of servers. Okay, I agree with that. Um, because then it allows uh, the community to um, to grow again, if you like. Um, yep. And then later on, if the community got too big, then they could extend more, you know, give more servers. But but didn't we say this in the last video, though, mate? This is what was going to happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like... I mean, I wasn't in that last video, but we talked about it the day before you posted that video. Uh, so. yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, it's it's just a shame because, like I said, it, it still has got great potential. You know, I mean, it's, it's very much playable now. The only problems are no animals, no uh, no zombies sort of like appear. You know, all over the map. They just stuck to certain friggin' areas. Um, actually, let me um, take a drink here a second. Uh, where are we going? Tabbing it. It's good. I'm searching for the um, the tab button. To open up my inventory is because you, you we play so many different games with different keys. Uh, what's my food like? I fit actually. Oh yeah, I'll take a take one of those. <clears throat> that knock me back up to a hundred percent. That's it. All good again. Well, what was I saying? So I've got a head like a sieve, mate. I, start talking about something i forget about it <laughs> within seconds <laughs> and uh, that's fine but i mean people can say that i'm salty or whatever well of course i'm salty i put over two thousand hours into this game exactly you yeah know? i wouldn't play it for two thousand hours if i didn't like it exactly you know and but, people will take like there's some youtubers out there who take like a politically correct stance on all this shit uh -huh. and i'm just gonna be like well fuck daybreak they fucking scammed us all for fucking skins and and all sorts of stuff to you know give them money. Yeah. While while they misled us saying that this game was being developed when it wasn't. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Well, like you said, nothing's been put in it for for a hell of a long time, isn't it? I think the the, the last major thing was was it the hospital? I mean, either the hospital or the military base. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and that was yonks ago. And then they took the map away from us and gave us Badwater Canyon and nothing's been done on that. And then they just... That's probably why they brought this map back because they decided then not to actually finish building, um, what was it, uh, the third quarter of Badwater Canyon. That's probably why this that. one came back. Not, that not, guy built across the bridge. Sorry? That guy, that last place we just passed, he built across the bridge. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Saw that yesterday. Um, so yeah, that's probably why they brought this back, this map back. Not because people were whinging and whining, saying, "Oh, I want Z1 back. I want it back." No, I think that that was their intention. Oh, uh, Flynn's base is gone. Look. There. I was there yesterday. Uh -huh. Um. So yeah, they 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 knew months and months and months ago what was going to happen to this uh, this side of the game I think they knew the second they decided that it was the split was going to be a thing yeah yeah but you know I mean look at the amount of people that are still playing on the you know the just survive even uh, even after having this post put up this morning there are still a lot of people playing on the servers if that's not dedication I don't know what is you know what I mean yeah and supporting them because uh, well time... i mean i know a lot of people don't play this game no more because a lot of the uh the the functionality of this game has been stripped out of it but and and it got boring for people but fancy that people actually like this fucking game yeah yeah <laughs> yeah see now it's getting laggy did you see that that vehicle just spawned in there 
No, no. I'm, I'm lagged out to, to all help. Yeah, I think the reason why it's like a bit laggy over here, ladies and gents, I'm going to show you in a second. We just go down here to where the police station is. And now I'm going to take a right and you'll see for yourself this this base. It looks it looks bang on though, my fair play. Uh, it Ready? looks the tits. Here we go. <laughs> Look at the size of that. <laughs> oh, let me see if I'll get a bit bit close uh, bit different because I've got that bloody um, electricity pylon in the in the way there. But don't that look mad? That looks phenomenal. <laughs> They got some imagination, eh? Fair play. Yeah, that looks sick. And that's probably why you've, you, we may be hitting a bit of lag or something like that around here. But then again, he's only using the amount of building parts that, that it allows you. And I mean, I think that's only one wall wide, so yeah, <laughs> I don't it think it's that many parts, you know? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that looks mad. I have got a uh, a screenshot that I took yesterday of that, so I might put that up as the uh, the final video banner if you like. Um, uh, but yeah, I think like selling this game onto somebody that actually wants to work with it is the only option that they've got. If I had the bloody money, mate, I would put in a, a, an offer for it. That's for sure. Because like I said, we've put all those hours into the game. I, I'm up to I think over three thousand hours well i mean daybreak have rendered this game so useless that you know it's probably worth 50 bucks on a ham sandwich oh well, that's right yeah should i put in an offer <laughs> you may as well i put 51 just in case somebody uh tries outbidding me on the 50. <laughs> i'll give you best price 30 for 50. yeah well my uh, i think like my uh my stepson uh blinky uh, he's a, like a computer programmer and things like that um, now I bet you a pound of pinch of shit he could do something decent with this game iron a few few of the sort of like bugs out you know what I mean he could do that on his own but uh, you know uh, I don't know you, you would think like after the amount of dev team that Daybreak have had working on this game all those bugs like with the glitchy zombies and things like that maybe like we talked yesterday changing the engine over to you know to a better one you know what i mean it's it's just craziness craziness i mean we all knew this day was coming but yeah it's, it's no less annoying yeah that's right yeah yeah because like it's like it's like we both keep saying you know it's it's very much playable the build system you know there's a, there's one or two extra parts that they could have probably added to it I would have actually kept the old the old way where you could place more than uh, just four foundations. You know, like the uh, the racetrack that we made. How many foundations did we use on those? Oh God knows. I mean, not just found not just deck foundations. We also used ground tampers as that's, well. That's right. Yeah, ground tampers. Yeah. So, uh, like, you know, if they'd have kept that sort of system, but have the walls like 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 the um the ones that we're using now and have those snapped to those old foundations that would have been cool i do like this yeah that i like how he's cool. done that yeah yeah there's another there's another nice one over at cranberry in there that cranberry bridge it's like a, right, right. It, he's made like a, a temple um sort of like tunnel if you like Got watch this bridge because this bugger has caught me out a few times. Done a jump there and ploughed into the sandbags. <laughs> but uh, this vehicle, look, uh, it's still 61%. So what did that lose? It was 100% when we parked it up yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, look, you know, it's just silly little things like these, you know. And, and you look at Reddit and the amount of young kids that are whinging and whining about you know oh he's blocked the door up again oh he's stolen my car oh he blew my car up you know what i mean when they started making changes like not being able to cause any damage on pve you know on the vehicles you know that's again when the game started going downhill they took the wrenches out you know oh, where are you going oh check yeah. the buzzers yeah good idea good idea we are started like running out of fuel uh, L, there we go. G 
keep it locked because uh, the, you know even on here people you know sneak up behind you and try robbing right. it uh, but yeah well, look, I, look, like all the stuff that they've taken out and brought in you know I mean they've taken a lot more out than uh, than they've actually brought in um, well let's talk about a bit of it I mean you can't make sandwiches anymore uh huh one of the one of the ways that uh, one of the things that made me start playing this game to begin with was the swizzle mm -hmm. I used to role play as a Mexican drug dealer you know like <laughs> delivering swizzle to people Orale, vato, you want some swizzle homes you know like all of that shit has been taking out like simple things like the Q button to push a zombie away or to go up to your friend to push him and then run away and laugh yeah yeah you, know? you can't even do that no more no, no even I, I love that old Q button because that was bloody handy because like you said you know when the, when when that was in the game the zombies were actually sort of like lethal because you know they could still hit you from like 20 30 foot away if you like <laughs> uh, so yeah that Q button I was all for that and you know why why they didn't bring it back is you know is beyond me oh it's typical daybreak they don't know how to fix it uh just get rid of it yeah exactly exactly yeah yeah no, it's a crying shame it's, 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 oh here yeah, let's go and check those other bells is up, up around here i mean the company the company name says it all daybreak games yeah 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 but uh, I was reading on Reddit and like this is not the first game that they've sort of brought out in early access and cocked up. No. Nah. Uh, Apparently they've done the same with uh, EverQuest and they also did the same with Landmark. Right. Uh, well, well, I say I, I, will, I will not be buying any more games. Um, made by uh, Daybreak that is for sure I don't blame it Never. I wouldn't you know, not after this because like I say I've put three I'm pretty sure it's close to or if not a little bit more than 3,000 hours into this game you've put over 2,000 uh, a Flynn put God knows how many hours into it I'm not sure what he's up to and Mad Mac Every, everybody that we know uh, ODM has put uh, no end Jab has put no end of hours into it so yeah, I mean, so I just saw, I saw a vehicle down there, um, and even today, if if there was some decent content in the game or or just regular updates, yeah, I mean, all those players I just mentioned would still be playing this game. Well, let's talk about updates for a sec. We've been playing that game, Mist Survival, lately, and that game has been out for a week and a half. And the guy has had more updates in that one week and a half than Daybreak has had ever since they relaunched Z1. He has, yeah, yeah. And I just noticed, I don't know if you saw it as well, but I, I've added um, the developer of that to my friends list. And he's okay. actually in the game now playing it. That's a nice place. Well, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that is nice actually, yeah. I bet that was a lady. It looks it looks too clean to be a, a man built, based in it. Uh, I don't know about that. A bit too polished, a bit, a bit more detail into it. And it's got yeah, it's got windows in it. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely got to be a ladies a ladies base. But yeah, uh, like I said, he and some it, big big dude named Bubba will come out. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like I said, that um, that developer, what's his name? Captain Lord something or other? Um, yeah, someone. Yeah, he, he accepted my friend's request um, a couple of days ago. And he, he's actually jumped into the game himself. Probably, probably just to test, uh, test bugs. Yeah, and like his game has been out for a week and a half. He's doing it all by himself, and what a bang up job he's done. Oh, really? and yeah. you look at this game with the prior to the development team being just decimated. Yeah, and look what they haven't done with this game. They've, they, how do you go backwards? Exactly. Yeah. 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 They, like, oh, I don't know. Maybe we should uh, get hold of the developer of Mist Survival and say to him, like, you know, with the money that you've earned, 
uh, through the sale of your game, why don't you put a bid in to uh, just survive and take that over <laughs> and work on that one on your own? I, I bet you a pound or a pinch of shit within about two, three weeks, mate, he would have this fucking game bang on. You know what? I'd even give him a year uh, and he'd have that game like on a new engine, like just leap years ahead of where it is now. Oh, for sure, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Here, uh, let me jump out a sec, and I'm going to let you drive for a bit because I want to. Uh, I'm going to put that two fuel in the uh, in the trunk there because I want to fill my um, my e cig up. There we go. Just going to check these uh, bowsers. All right, buddy. All right, let me know when you're ready because I've got to jump out in the. Uh, actually, a few. Uh, can I take? I can't take anything out of the truck. Can I? Um, I have to get in the driver's seat. Let me grab those empties. Who's that? Oh, the fucking zombie. Let me jump, uh, grab some of those empties, and if we come across any more garages, then uh, I'll jump out instead of you. There you go. Cool. So yeah. Um, it's a crying shame, like I said, you know, because even, even after the rant video that I put up, uh, when was it, a month, two months? I don't know when it was, but it was one of the last videos. We've still been jumping on the game and uh, and playing it and making bases and things like that um, just to see if, if by any sort of, like, miracle that they decided to put anything into the game or... But they haven't. Nothing at all. Just allowing us to open up the crates that we earned you know through the last what three years of the game um free of charge and just getting nothing but shitty bloody um uh what do you call it skins i mean that, that's the only thing that they've given us oh mate they put checkpoints all around the map oh, content yeah. oh yeah i forgot about that checkpoints <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking checkpoints. Who the freaking hell needs that amount of checkpoints, man? You should only need yeah. a There's checkpoint. so many things they could have done with this. So like, just putting new stuff in the map. Like, like take the airstrip from from Z2, mm -hmm. from from H1Z1, and put it in the, on this map somewhere. You yeah, know, yeah. like maybe on the left hand side between the the mine and the military base somewhere. Yeah, yeah. So many assets from that game, they could have just chucked it in here. And oh, not... an airport. Yeah. Yeah, there's a whole airfield. Yeah, and, and a nice airport. And if, if they were to have extended it like uh, uh, Smedley wanted, or, or or he had sort of like the vision, uh, then an airport would have been bang on. You know, they, they even took that teleporting away, didn't they? You know, where you could go up to the military base and teleport from right. sort of like one place to the other. Yeah, that was on Badwater Canyon, but uh, yeah, yeah, I like I think the idea needed, of that. It was good, but I think you needed um, you needed the, cash or coins. Yeah, yeah, you needed the coins to do it or something, didn't you? Right, what are we stopping here for? Run out of fuel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, see, I see, I like the idea of that because um, it gave you sort of like something else to do. You go out, you you need to go and find out more weapons so you could go and sell it to the vendor and what have you so you could then teleport once you bought your what was it then strongholds the only thing you needed money for then is so you could like teleport so if you found an area uh, near a military base that had um, uh, I don't know stone loads of wood or loads of metal or something like that you could then just go back to that and then teleport back to uh, sort of like the square there where, where your base was I love that idea that was bang on but then they took it away. No, it wasn't bad. Yeah. Oh, no, they took the money out of the game. Yeah, took it all out. Yeah. But but I think you know and, I, I've and, I've said it for a long time. You know, Reddit has been sort of like I don't know a thorn in its back or in its side, like you know, because you have got so many people whinging on an air. You know, oh he's blocked the door up. He's taken my vehicle. He's blown my vehicle up. Bloody bloody bloody. You know, silly little things like that. But this is a survival game for God's sake. That sort of thing would happen. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, so they've sided with all those pussies and turned it into a proper pussy game. 
Oh, I mean, how long we've we've been playing it since day one, all right? Yeah. And yeah. now, yeah, we're on a PVE server. And you know what? If you want to do PvP, that's your thing. Go for it. Yeah, I'm not going to bag you for playing PvP, and I I, I don't feel like I should be bagged for playing PVE. Uh -huh. But the fact of the matter is, at one point you could raid on PVE. Yeah, yeah. You know, you couldn't you couldn't hoard vehicles back at the start of this game because people could raid your base. Exactly. Yeah. And if one group decided to hoard all the vehicles, or well, the, the rest of the server would group up and and make sure. That their base was destroyed. Yeah, yeah. And you know, well, me, they, me myself, and Flynn. People mate, complained about that. You know, like, oh, they can read my base, blah blah blah. Well, then we got the vehicle hoarding problem. Yeah. Well, see, before I met up with you, you know, um, me and Flynn, we used to go around the uh, the whole map on a regular basis uh, to see if any more bases had been brought, uh, you know, uh, brought in or anything, or if somebody uh, had left a door open or something like that or if we could just jump into somebody else's base just to raid them uh blow up their vehicles and shit like that you know those days oh i loved them loved them it's uh you know it was fun yeah it, yeah it was and like i said you could build in towns they took that away from us this poi business we were talking about it yesterday weren't we it's just oh, ridiculous rubbish you know i mean the, complete you, trash you know, I mean, uh, from Pleasant Valley, you, you have to go down to Bumjik's farm before you can actually build anything. That okay, is what... see this this checkpoint here? Uh -huh. Is that classified? That used that would have at one point been classified as a, a POI. Right, and you yeah. You can't build here. Yeah, some of them you and can build right up against them. Yeah, uh, you can now. I think they've they've relaxed uh -huh. it slightly, but like uh, you think of the Opfer camp at Ruby Lake like yeah, not yeah. many people used to go there and that was considered a point of interest and you can't build near there it was stupid yeah yeah or behind the church behind exactly. the church um <clears throat> across the water on the, on the big hill yeah yeah you know like that's all quarantine area why yeah and, and yet you see this these three houses here well you saw the last time Jabba bought uh, built here he built right behind that first house we passed there uh -huh. So again, you would think that this would be a point of interest because there's still uh, resources inside those places. But again, <clears throat> it's a point of interest, but not many people come here. Mm. So let them build. Well, yeah, but uh, I mean, it's, it's just sort of like uh, an example. Yeah, I mean, if if they got these point of interest, it should be on for everything. But it, but but it's the distance, the distance that you you know you have to go before you can actually put down a foundation. It's just ridiculous like I said it needed somebody that had sort of like a, a better understanding of the mechanics of the game to maybe implement this POI um, thingy in but nah and they've not done any changes to that I think it's just made it worse it's such a shame I mean everybody wanted like a, a different survival game from DayZ like a different feel yeah and on release, this game gave it to them. Yeah. And now it's just... It's so bad. Well, it's, I mean, the, it's the closest it, game that, that that's out there uh, to maybe a zombie apocalypse thing, thingy. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it, and and it, it could still be um, a good game in the right hands, and it could still be the closest, if not the only close uh, uh, zombie apocalypse game out there like, you know what I mean um, but no they've just given up on it oh and as far as Ark Lego, Ark Lego goes uh -huh. he can sit there and say that he's a puppet and he doesn't really have any power but when he was replaced when he replaced Smedley he's the guy who convinced everybody up the, the execs at Daybreak that we need to go with H1Z1 King of the Kill and forget about this whole zombie survival thing. Yeah, yeah. Nah, it's totally so uh, I'd like to uh, say a big hello and a big fuck you to Ark Lego. Yeah. Well, I'd like to say the same True. thing to uh, Daybreak Games, period. I mean, because like I said, thanks to them, all, all our sort of like... Because this is the main game that we always come back to, isn't it? You know, I mean, we play Ark and things like that together, and maybe another one or two little games together. Where are you going? Where's he gone? Just having a look. 
I thought, I thought you crashed out. No. <laughs> uh, was he you, disappeared? You drive. Um, oh, the second. Uh, e. Yeah, I'll get back to base. Uh, we're on. Oh, we've hit the 30 minute mark anyway. So, uh, yeah, we'll probably have to end the video. Uh, we'll get back to base anyway. We can go over maybe a few minutes. Uh, let's go down this way. This is the river, isn't it? Yeah, we'll follow this down. We should get back to my sort of like makeshift base. Is that it? No, that ain't it. Because that one's got a. No, it's further down, isn't it? That's not it. See, there's a few bases popped up along here since I actually logged on the other day. But what's the betting's we come on here in a few days' time and they're all bloody decaying? Because now, since <laughs> the, yeah, that post has been sort of like uh, posted, nobody's going to want to play on here. What's the point in building a base when you uh, you know only too well within two months it's all going to be gone? It's funny too, I went on the H1Z1 Reddit and there was a massive thread about this game uh -huh. and people were roasting Daybreak for this and it's good, they should be. Yeah. I think our base is just up here somewhere. I'll stick with the river I think because that's the safest bit. Don't want to be running back. But anyway, ladies and gents, I think I'm going to have to end it there for today. But uh, yeah, if you've got any sort of like comments on what we've discussed here today, you know, please uh, feel free and, and leave one down below. Um, if you like what you've seen today, if you'd be so kind to leave us a like. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more, especially of the new game that we're uh, streaming, Mist Survival, um, yeah, please subscribe. So until the next episode of whatever game we decide to play catch you next time say goodbye Diz goodbye Diz <laughs> uh, love to you all everybody catch you next time bye bye for now bye bye